Well, Fairland Elementary students have gone without a fully functioning cafeteria since school began, and parents claim school officials aren't doing enough about it. Channel 3's Tanisha Cordell sat down with the superintendent who says that's not the case. Tanisha? That's right, Cindy. Walker County Superintendent Damon Rain says this is all a big misunderstanding. He says he met with parents recently to explain the situation, which he says stems from a lack of staff and a broken freezer. Superintendent Damon Rain says back in July, the freezer at Fairland Elementary School stopped working. Soon after, he received a resignation letter from the school's cafeteria manager and the remaining cafeteria staff. So it was a couple of things that hit at the same time that were really well outside of anyone's control. Since then, Fairland's meals have been cooked and transported from Ridgeland High School, 20 minutes down the road. It's not a process we're unfamiliar with. The state approves that process. We have to go through that as well. We've done all of that. But flyers like this one are being passed around by parents who feel they're being left out of the loop. Maybe we could have communicated more, but we feel like we got that word out. So I'm not sure where it's kind of unraveled, but we're committed to giving back the kitchen there, fully staffed with a manager and a freezer cooler that's working. Rain says the freezer is back up and running and three people have been hired to fill the gap. Uh, and they're currently cooking things in their kitchen every day. Uh, it's just limited because their training is ongoing. So we're providing someone from Ridgeland to come up and work with them every day to make sure that they're specifically trained on everything that they need to do. Well, the superintendent hopes to have the, the cafeteria kitchen fully up and running again by Christmas time. But there is a school board meeting tonight at 6. We're told some concerned parents will be there silent protesting. We'll keep you updated on what happens. For now, live in the studio, Tanisha Cordell, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.